You have to make these 30 minute floral and fruity sugar cookies this spring. Today we're partnering with Betty Crocker and Target to share this delicious treat my grandma and I used to make when I was a little girl. And although it looks super fancy, it is perfect for beginner bakers. All you need is Betty Crocker sugar cookie mix, vanilla frosting, and some fruit. And I'm telling you, these are so good. Your friends and family will be asking for the recipe. Look at how cute these little mini cookie pizzas are. They are almost too cute to eat. And I am so excited I could scream. Today I'm partnering with Betty Crocker in Target, pinch me, pinch me, pinch me, to share with you this recipe. And honestly, ever since I was a little girl, I would go to my grandma's house, my grandma Betty's house, every single summer. She lived out in the middle of nowhere, Iowa. And we would bake because that's what there was to do for fun. There was nothing much else to do other than bake in the kitchen. And so we would bake a ton of things. My grandpa would clean up after us, but the items we would get from the store were Betty Crocker items. So this is just such a sweet moment for me. Um, I'm using the sugar cookie mix and Betty Crocker's vanilla frosting. And these, honestly, they look super fancy, but they were quick and easy to make. Look at how cute these little mini cookie pizzas are. They are almost too cute to eat. And I am so excited I could scream. Today I'm partnering with Betty Crocker in Target. Pinch me, pinch me, pinch me to share with you this recipe. And honestly, ever since I was a little girl, I would go to my grandma's house, my grandma Betty's house every single summer. She lived out in the middle of nowhere, Iowa. And we would bake because that's what there was to do for fun. There was nothing much else to do other than bake in the kitchen. And so we would bake a ton of things. My grandpa would clean up after us, but the items we would get from the store were Betty Crocker items. So this is just such a sweet moment for me. Um, I'm using the sugar cookie mix and Betty Crocker's vanilla frosting. And these, honestly, they look super fancy, but they were quick and easy to make. This agave started sprouting, gosh, I feel like around Thanksgiving time, and I haven't given you guys an update on it, but it is so tall, and it started to sprout all of these flowers. You can see the bees are going crazy for it, but once this thing is done flowering, this whole plant will die, and then you can see there's like little babies poking out, so we could replant those, but yeah, agaves die once they bloom and it's so weird how they bloom because it looks like one big tall tree this is my pink lemonade tree it is my favorite citrus tree in our yard if you've never tried a pink lemon before they're delicious they're a little bit sweeter than regular lemons oh you can see a baby right in there um but they're yellow and striped on the outside the fruit is and then they are pink on the inside and they just here oh my gosh i think i see another one right here this is a good sign because last year i had no pink lemons i was devastated so this year i've been watering and fertilizing this thing like crazy and i've noticed there's quite a few babies in the center of the tree i think they have more protection in there but let's see if we can see another one in there oh i see one right here i'll zoom in on it so I'm gonna check on these like every single week just to make sure they don't drop because last year they all dropped and I was devastated. Since I moved to Arizona from Iowa, I've fallen in love with citrus trees. So today we are going to plant a grapefruit tree using a few of my tried and true gardening tricks. The first trick is to plant the original container first to make the perfect size hole. I also like to push the sides of the container to loosen the soil to help the plant slide out super easily. And to avoid a huge mess, it's best to fill the soil about two inches from the top of the container. That way when you water it, it doesn't completely overflow. If you're looking for ways to upgrade your yard or patio this spring, highly suggest checking out the Home Depot and their spring Black Friday sales.